So we're going to do things a little differently this morning. No surprise there. I guess it's no surprise when you always expect something to be different around here, right? So two weeks ago we spoke haha. <laughs> two weeks ago we spoke about forgiveness. I would like to know who here, who was here, who would like to give us one or two lines on this microphone about what we learned about forgiveness. Who would like to step forth and be heard? Probably the most important thing uh, that came out of that for me was that if I do not judge, I do not need to forgive. Ah. Thank you. I'm really glad that that message stuck. So what I want to know is, for anyone else who was there, did you... Respond to the invitation to be in the practice of forgiveness. Did you respond? Who was here last week who's willing to give us a line about being peace? You know, I saw the forgiveness video. I came for the peace, and I was a, th thought I forgave situations. And you know what? I realized because of the peace, I have to be completely ready even when I think I am, and my heart isn't in it, something happened this week. And between the peace I got, and I made this forgiveness that I thought I did a thousand times, and it was like an outer body experience. It was absolutely amazing. So thank you. You're welcome, but what did you learn about peace what did I learn? last week? It's, it's inside of me. <sighs> it's all in me. And if that's what I meant, if, it ain't, if I ain't right in got here, it. it don't matter. I know I'm right got in it. here. I got it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Thank you. So what I ask you, for those of you who are here, during the week, did you seek the experience of peace? Because this isn't about you just, you know, this isn't about you coming and watching. This is about you going home and working and doing and applying. That's what this is all about. Don't make me stand up here alone. <laughs> Lucianne, come on down. I don't think I'm going to be answering your question, but it's what is on my mind. Um, <laughs> And it fits, I think. Uh, for years and years and years, I have uh, worked to forgive my father who deserted us when I was one year old. You'd think by now. Um, yeah. For years and years, I have worked to forgive my mother uh, for, so I thought she was very possessive of me and made my life un unpleasant. But looking back now, I realize how much she gave to me. And what I have worked at now, out of this, truly, is I ask her to forgive me for giving her the cold shoulder when I was an adult. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was, that's very powerful. I remember that day, I remember the day when I was walking out that morning after forgiveness and you looked at me and I knew you got something. I mean, I didn't know what it was, but thank you for that. Be thankful that you don't already have, that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times during those times you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you the opportunity for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. 
It is easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. Author unknown. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously. And because all things have contributed to your advancement, you should include all things in your gratitude. And Oprah Winfrey said, true forgiveness is when you can say, thank you for that experience. So the Sunday before Thanksgiving is always a very powerful Sunday. It's very meaningful to be able to take stock in what you are grateful for. It is especially powerful when you get to do it up front. So I'm going to invite you to come and share with your community something you are grateful for. Now I'm going to ask you to keep it to a either a name or a single line, not a story, but I'm going to ask you to come up and tell us what or who you are grateful for. And I'm going to ask you if you would enter, no, actually since the camera's back there, I'm going to ask you to enter from this side. So the microphone is open and today's conversation depends upon you and depends upon what you have to say. I am so incredibly grateful for this thing called life that lives and breathes and moves and gives life to me every moment and shows me the joy and the gifts that I have. I am so grateful. I'm grateful for my wife, Anita, and for this center. Thank you. I'm grateful for every single thing in my life. But what first came to mind this morning was that I am really grateful for this center. I'm grateful for Reverend Michelle. I'm grateful for everything I've learned here. It has truly turned my life around. Thank you. I am grateful for the people in my life who trigger yeah. old hurts, <laughs> things that I want to work on, and for my relationship with uh, Bill Sarnowski, who helps me get in touch with old issues and to heal them and forgive myself and those people that I have issues with. I am grateful for this work and this law which shows up in every single facet of our lives, whether we're looking for it or not, and whether we see it or not, it's always there, always present. I am grateful for this morning, driving into the center, pumping the radio and car dancing and listening to music and just singing and my kid joining in and just having a blast on our way into the center. I am grateful for my beautiful, all my beautiful children and my beautiful life. I am grateful for the gift that this teaching has given to me. My life has changed. My relationships have changed. It is all good. Thank you. I am grateful for the awareness of gratitude. And so I am able to see and feel blessed that I can see a million things every day to be grateful for. I am grateful to be a mother of two amazing children and the beautiful relationship that we have together. Hi, I'm grateful for every single thing in my life, every aspect, the good, the bad, the ugly, everyone, everything, past, present, and future. I'm grateful for all my friends and family, and I'm especially grateful for my mom and my relationship with her, and she's my rock and she's awesome. Today I'm grateful for the center because if I hadn't come here over 10 years ago, 
I would not be able to be so grateful for everything I'm grateful for. <laughs> I am grateful for the beautiful soul that is my daughter that I got a chance to raise and, and see her into adulthood. And I am grateful for the love that I have received in my life every day in my life. And I'm grateful for the ability to give that love back to the world. And I am grateful for the center because it has changed my life. I am grateful for my wonderful life partner, Bernalee. I'm grateful for the treatment work that I've been doing that lets me be aware that the world can be a safe place and when I wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. I can experience my day knowing that it can be safe and I don't have to be preoccupied with where the next pain can come from. I'm grateful for my life partner, Mary, and our wonderful family with Ricky and Angela and all the love I receive everywhere on this planet and all the love I can give back. Uh, I'm really grateful for the practice of, of well, I guess treatment, but um, learning that peace and forgiveness are things you have to practice every single day and just doing doing that and the love that it brings into your into your life really the openness and the love I'm grateful for two simple phrases my grandmother gave to me to guide my life I used to je jealously keep them as my own but now I'm giving them to you first thing she said to me was strive to be different the second thing she said to me was clear the path before you and clean the path behind you wow. I'm so grateful for prayer in all of its forms that um, there's nothing between me and God and that I get to commune with God in a variety of ways through word, through thought, through energy, through vibration. And um, it's some of the best times of my life are in prayer. So I'm so grateful for that. Hi, I'm grateful for my friend Brenda who brought me here for the first time. And um, that fact that if I stick to it, I could uh, also be uh, a testimony to my own faith and uh, kind people too. Thank you. Yeah, I'm grateful for my friend Michelle in Las Vegas. You know, she saw something in me when I didn't even know I was here to be seen. And she's a practitioner now in the Vegas Center. And um, it took me a long time to get here, but I'm home. <laughs> I am grateful for spirit having led me to this teaching and the discovery of my freedom, my liberation, and my empowerment. And I have discovered that we are all God, that we are the power, you and I, and we are the bomb diggity. <laughs> and don't get it twisted because because you and I are the power. I'm grateful for my wife, Desiree, my daughter, Maya, my mother-in-law, Maggie, who's with us for a while, staying with us, and that's great. And um, I'm grateful for all of you, everybody, friends and family, which are many of you, because it's just a reflection of me. And I'm grateful for this center, and a beautiful community of like-minded people. I'm grateful for my constant connection to spirit, for the ability to use my gifts to serve myself, others, and my higher powers. And I'm grateful for knowing that only good comes to me and only good ever will. I am grateful that no matter what has gone on in my life, 
or your life, that every day we get up and we have another chance to do it better all over again. I'm grateful for my grandmother that even though she died when I was in third grade, that because of the work she did, literally, she gave me the connection that when I was in college, I connected unknowingly with the right boss who gave me the right connections to do what I'm doing today. I am grateful for the beautiful connection that I am making with my higher self. It is a beautiful place to be, and I wish that for everybody. I'm also grateful for my two beautiful souls. That those are my children, and I'm grateful for every situation, every conditions, everything, even my recent divorce. I'm grateful for that. Everything. I am grateful for so much in my life, but to simply put it right now, to be alive, to be healthy, and for each and every day. I'm grateful for my heart and for being in a community of heart and love, loving souls. And um, even though it's so painful, I'm grateful that my husband's out of pain. I'm grateful for my mother, uh, who's still here with us, and uh, who uh, we almost lost her twice in the last um, year. And I'm grateful for um, the difficulties I experienced growing up. As she was a very difficult mother. And uh, just yesterday, um, we got into an argument, and I called her back, and it's making me a better person because we worked it out. I am grateful for my seven-year-old great-granddaughter who called me up the Veterans Day and made me realize that I've stood here for 90 years as a happy, happy Veterans Day father. You know, I'm grateful. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm grateful for my life, uh, everything I have, everyone in it, good and bad, um, because they teach me um, things that and allow me to grow um, every single day. I'm grateful for Emily for introducing me to the center because I didn't know anything like this existed, and um, I take from everything. I've only been here twice, but I love what I hear. <laughs> I'm grateful to have the wonderful mother that I have and for my family and for Reverend Michelle and for Dan for bringing me into this teaching more and just for everybody who challenges me every day to love more. I am grateful for the peace and I always cry, right? I always cry when I speak. Um, uh, I'm grateful for the peace I have found and uh, that I love, that I feel, and I'm um, so grateful for Reverend Michelle and my cat, Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> I am grateful for my father who, um, when I was faced with one of the most challenging uh, situations of my life, told me to look for the opportunity within that challenge. And... Uh, at that time, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> but I totally, totally understand, you know, what he was saying. And I'm sure that's probably why I'm uh, a practitioner intern today. Thank you. Good morning. I am grateful for everything, every aspect of my life. I'm grateful for Rev. Michelle. So grateful for Celine and the choir. I'm grateful for everything that happens in my life. And most recently, I'm grateful for false alarms because they show you where you need to step up and stand forward. I am grateful for all the teachers in my life who have brought me finally here beginning with the four women who raised me, the wonderful teachers I had in college, the wonderful t 
teacher, Raymond Charles Barker, changed my life, changed my life. I am most grateful for Reverend Michelle. I love her. She has meant so much to me. And though he's not here today, I have to be say I am most grateful also. How many most can one have? But I do have them. <laughs> Infinite. For universe. my husband, Simon. What a, an amazing man. He doesn't let me get away with any negativity. <laughs> Um, I'm grateful for the journey that brought me here today. I'm grateful for my husband who said, let's go church shopping. And that's how we, that's why we found this teaching. I found Michelle as a student, and she said she'd become a minister, and we knew she could do it, and she did. So I'm very grateful for this very center. When I come here, I feel so safe, and I feel so loved, and I consider you all my church family or my center family. And for all that, I am grateful. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. I'm grateful for adjustable microphones. I'm grateful for all of you. I love you all. I'm very grateful for all of you who spread that love and invite friends and bring others into this teaching and into this love. I'm so grateful that you don't keep it to yourselves, but you spread the love amongst each other. <sighs> Mostly grateful for my daily dose of vitamin M. <laughs> Lucy, I understand. Try being the partner of a minister. You do not get away with anything. I'm so grateful. I love her the most. I am grateful for God and to be able to experience heaven on earth. I'm grateful that I'm short. <laughs> Thank you. An adjustable microphone. And I'm grateful to have every day as a learning opportunity and for all the people that have come into my life to get me to where I am today and most especially to have my son Kevin back home with me and for the opportunity to be here in a new home and safe place to share and love and learn, grow and learn with all of you wonderful people. Thank you. So I thank you. I am especially um, fond of having a vitamin named after me. <laughs> we should do something around that, I'm sure. <laughs> and, and the truth is that um, I have to say, I have to give testimony to uh, my partner, my fiance, and um, this man who has filled out the empty spaces in my life that... Um, I didn't really understand about gratitude in the way I learned it from Neil. I never heard anybody so sincerely be thankful for the crap in life. Sincerely. He sincerely was grateful for everything, every iota, every, every aspect, everything. He never backed down. And I witnessed him when I first got, it to, got to know him, and I witnessed him. And at first, it, I thought it, it wasn't real, like, because it, it seemed unbelievable. And I kept watching him, and I realized he meant it. He really meant it when he said he was grateful to love someone enough that when he missed them, that he was grateful to have them missing. Right? You get that? I didn't have that piece. I didn't really have that like that. Before I learned and before we were together, it was an intellectual process. So I'm so grateful that this move has moved from an intellectual process to deep within my soul. And I'm so grateful for him. And I'm grateful for my sons and for my new grandbaby who, who has the purity of life. And every time I'm with her, I pour myself into her. And it's just, she is this vast space of love. 
I'm grateful for the center. I'm grateful for each of you. I am grateful to have this profession. Grateful to have a job. And we went to an ordination Friday night for Reverend Alice Reed. Many of you know her. She was staff here for a while, so she was ordained Friday night. And she said, I'm grateful to have a job where my main, my main job is to learn how to love. So for all the mistakes I've ever made, I apologize. For any phone calls I haven't returned, I apologize. For anyone who has waited for me to return an email, I apologize. Trust me, it's not because I'm doing nothing. But I still, if there's any piece of me that hasn't shown up for you 100%, I'll do better. I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to serve. So today we're going to take our green ribbons that are in our programs, and hopefully everybody has one. And after I'm done with treatment today and we're done at the end of the service, I'm going to ask you to add it to our arch filled with the weeks, the growing weeks of our ribbons that will be your affirmation that you are practicing. First it was forgiveness, then peace, and now gratitude. Before we do that, I ask you to hold the hand of someone you love, even if you don't know them yet. This is your, this is your new lover, your new soulmate, your new divine mate. And I mean that in the best way. Please take it. <laughs> come on, come on, get it clean. I mean it in a sacred way. Come on. But just hold the hand of that beloved. And on this day, this, this Sunday before Thanksgiving, let us feel it. Some of us are having life challenges right now. Some of us are going back and forth to the doctors. Some of us are struggling with paying bills. Some of us have just said goodbye to a loved one. Some of us are Sometimes feeling lonely, sometimes we're feeling afraid. But what I know for each one of us that we know, if you're in within the sound of my voice, either here or on podcast, what I know is that within the sound of my voice, for every single person, that we know that we are not those experiences, that those are simply the human experiences that allow us to feel alive. And that as we rise above and we rise through and we transform each one of those experiences, we find the blessing. The blessing within, the blessing around, the blessing that is everywhere present all the time without exception. So I know for each one of us today that we allow this vibration of gratitude to lift us, guide us, inspire us open our heart and keep it open and to keep our sight set on what's possible on being love itself on being the very beauty of life I know that anywhere within us that anything contrary to this anywhere that it has lived has simply no power here the power is in this moment in this word in this choice in this focus in this attention So we place our attention on the most magnificent possibility of our fullest expression. Thank you, God, for heaven on earth. Thank you, God, for being awake, for being aware. Thank you, God, for this beauty and this peace. Thank you, God, for practicing forgiveness. Thank you, God, for remembering not to complain, not to gossip, for for not judging. Thank you, God, for every cell in our body temple. Thank you, God, for God. For this glorious moment, I am incredibly grateful. And I surrender this word to law. And I trust its full and beautiful demonstration. If you also are grateful, simply whisper, thank you. 
Let's let this word be so. And so it is. Thank you.